Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the pickaxe, and you know, this is a really, really good weapon. It is in fact the best strength weapon that can use the Leo Ring, and I don't use it very often. Now the reason I don't is because I personally prefer the war pick, and this review might be a little bit biased, but... I, I really can't help that. I like the war pick a lot more. I'll go over why, but don't get me wrong. For a strength build, this is without a doubt the best weapon to use the Leo Ring with. So, moving on from there, the pickaxe is a hammer class weapon that weighs 5 units. It requires 14 strength in order to wield it, and it has an A scaling in strength. That's it. Nice and simple. Definitely a strength weapon. Can't argue with that. Now, what makes this weapon unique is that it is essentially a mace that works with the Leo Ring. Can't complain about that either. It's got the great stun ability of the Hammer class weapons, plus the ability to work with the Leo Ring to do 68% more damage on a counter. Can't complain. That's definitely a good thing. Now, the reason why I prefer the War Pick more is because of its moveset. I'll get into that a little bit more when I start with the cons, but to start off with the pros, it's definitely going to be the ability to work with the Leo Ring. In addition to that, you've got the great stun locking ability and every other hammer class pro there is. So the ability to stun, the ability to damage stamina when someone blocks your attack, and all that good stuff. Now the cons of the weapon. Biggest one is, as I was saying before, the R2 attacks and the move set. That's just my opinion. I really do like the weapon. I really do. It's just the move set feels somewhat limited to me, and in comparison to the war pick, I don't know. I don't know. I like the sweeping R2 attacks of the war pick better than the vertical ones of the pickaxe. That's just my preference, and that's really what it comes down to: your preference. Now. The War Pick is, in fact, a quality weapon, so if you are on a strength build, this is what you should go with. If you're not on a strength build and you're on a quality build, then the War Pick will do more damage for you. Keep in mind it's only about a difference of 10 points either way, but it still makes a difference. So other things about this weapon, other cons of the weapon, I would have to say the whiff animation when you miss, it can get you into trouble but you can also use it to your advantage. I mentioned that in my mace video, which I recorded like 10, min 10 minutes ago. Um, with the weapons, with the hammer class weapons that have a whiff animation, you can take advantage of it in a few ways. You can either, when doing it one-handed, go for the R2 or an R1, whatever, miss on purpose from a distance, and if they roll in or run in to attack, you can parry. Chances are they'll do that. If they don't, and right there, I have no clue how that smacked me. I I don't know, that was weird in my opinion, but this one right here, I walked right into that and ate that one, so whatever. It was a good fight. I got a good chunk of damage on him in the beginning with a counter, so anyway, um, the ways you can take advantage of the whiff animation. So you can bait the parry, or, if you're, say, two-handing it, you go for an R2 and miss, or an R1 and miss, you can follow up with another attack, especially the R2s, it works really well with the R2s. You can follow up with another one, and they will not be expecting it. So, because of that, you can get a nice little sneaky kind of hit on them, and get a good amount of counter damage on them too, most likely. So, that's always a good thing. Now, really... I prefer the war pick a lot more, I really do, and I'm trying not to be too negative on this one. I feel like I was very negative in, in a video recently on the Man Serpent Greatsword. I actually, I don't feel that way, I know I was, so I'm trying not to do that again. I really do like this weapon, I really do, but it's just my preference, I like the war pick more, so whatever. I've probably said that a million times, and I'm sorry if I have, but, you know. That's just my opinion on it. I'm sure that other people feel the opposite of me, and, you know, that's fine. I'm not always right. It's just a preference. It's just an opinion, so it's not like my word is law, you know? Anyway, um, 
other things about this weapon that I think are interesting. Um, did you guys know counterattack damage and instability damage can stack? Did you? You probably didn't. Now, the reason I know that is because I was just doing a little bit of damage testing with this weapon and the war pick, just seeing if there was any difference between the R2s on them. And the enemies in the township, when they're doing their running jump attack, if you smack them with this or the war pick, you can deal 1250 damage. That's an instability and counter hit in the same, well, hit. Just a little bit of information, you guys might want to do a little testing on that. It's interesting to see, especially when you're not, you know, using a buff or anything other than the Leo Ring. So, just throwing that out there. Anyway, this is the last clip, last video, last part of the video, so I'm just going to go. I'm not going to bother recapping anything just because I don't feel like it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.